hashtag Ethan here and uh, today we're going to be doing game night. and the game is called The Park. It is a horror game set in a theme park. Um, I, I don't even know if I can like ride roller coasters anymore with like all of the organs messing up and the or rearranging and the cyborg implant. No, not 100% but I would love to. Uh, love roller coasters, but something tells me that these ones are not going to be nice. So, let's get spoopy and uh, let's get into it. New game. Best played in a dark room wearing headphones. Deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. Uh, well, I can't do the dark room. Uh, or you really wouldn't be able to see me. So. <laughs> but I do have the headphones. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Okay. So, ooh, wow. Sensitivity is really up. Um, I'm guessing that's information. Can I run? Attention, patrons. The park yes. is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Yo, dude. Where's Mr. Bear? What? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Wait for mommy, Callum! Over here! Chad the Chipmunk! Atlantic Island Park. Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit Solomon Island, I fell deeply in love with its natural beauty. It's a scenic place and I created many of my best memories here. I wanted to create a place that captures the essence of Solomon Island, a place where families would bring their children to create memories of their own. I invite you to explore this park that we have created from the Ferris wheel, which rivals the local lighthouse for the best views of the area, to the sideshow alley where we have many fascinating games and objects from the local area to explore. Enjoy Nathaniel Winter. Chad the Chipmunk recommends, <laughs> for the little ones, try the Tunnel of Tales for a gentle family friendly retelling of timeless fairy tales. If that sounds a little too slow, grab an adult and jump on the bumper corral. Full throttle fun for everyone. For the teens, pump up your adrenaline by going through a spin cycle on the Octatron. Then defy the laws of gravity on our award-winning roller coaster. Finish it all up in the House of Horrors, but be warned, it might scare all of the fun out of you. For the big ones. <laughs> Take a romantic spin on the Ferris wheel with your significant other and take in the natural beauty of Solomon Island. Follow it up with a stroll through the exotic sights and wild games of the Sideshow Alley. There truly is something for everyone at Atlantic Island Park. 
drink bingo drink bingo <laughs> once you've left the Atlantic Island Park there is still so much to do here in Solomon Island present this brochure to our local business partners to save big money places to eat sunshine deli whether a light snack or something more substantial the sunshine deli can find a way to satisfy your craving we also have Susie's Diner, laid-back dining in the heart of Kingsmith. Susie's is the place to go to meet the friendly locals and sample her famous canned preserves. The Lobster Trap. When in Maine, eat lobster. The Lobster Trap is the freshest, finest seafood that exists. Reservations are recommended. Places to sleep. We have Overlook Mattel, run by Eddie Stone. The Overlook Mattel has the best beds on the island. For the most reasonable prices and the best part is that the motel is located just a few hundred meters up the road from Atlantic Island Park. Jack and Wendy's bed and breakfast. For those who prefer a more intimate setting, Jack and Wendy have several beds available. They are very popular during the season so call early to avoid disappointment. Oh that just, okay. All right, where's our son? What's our son's name? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, hey, there you are. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. Callum. I wouldn't want to leave either. Hey. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have yeah. a safe journey home. You have an intruder. What you at? Uh oh. You can't have lap time right now, sweetie. you can see her trying to fit on my lap right now there's like maybe six inches between me and the desk um not a whole lot of room but when i'm doing editing work and not recording or on stream um i'll back up and let her sit on my lap uh, but i can't do that right now sweetie i was so sorry <laughs> i was so sorry Oh. Yes. Yes, my dear. Can Mama play your game? Can Mama play your game? What do you think? What do you think? I wish there was a way for you to be on my lap while I play. Oh, God. The park. What happened here? You can't catch me. Kellen! Stop. Kellen. Sweetie. Sweetie. <laughs> this isn't going to work out. I don't I don't know what to tell you. I mean if you lay right there, I guess. She really wants her lap time. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Maybe I can get it on, on this. This is Tomoko currently trying to fit. On my, on my lap. But I'm recording, so I can't really, you know, make her fit. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make it work? Okay. 
gonna make it work. This is Tomoko. Trying to fit on my lap while I'm recording and uh, there's not much room at all. And Mama needs to play her game. Yes, I love you, I know. I love you too. Look at how much cat hair. I'm seriously glad the other camera doesn't pick that up too much. <laughs> Oh, you need a cat cam. Yeah? What do you think? Should we get a cat cam? <laughs> oh, I almost fell off. Can you, like, make this work? Please. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to playing our game, though, okay? Okay. Callan, don't go in the big mouth. Oh, you got oh shit. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Um, that's nice. Hear my mom. Hi. Is he having shoot? How do I examine it? Stop! Tell him! I think this belongs to Kelm. Cute shoe. Okay, I'm done examining the shoe. Oh, oh, I took it? Okay, you have a shoe. Hi! Hello! Ooh, this will make a nice photo. Shadow the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the Chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. So we have Sideshow Alley at 11 a.m., 1 p.m. is the Octotron, and 3 p.m. is the park entrance. Chad the Chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Wholesome. Really wholesome. Very cool. Chad the Chipmunk. Okay. Bathroom. This looks like this place has been closed like for a while. Not just like it just closed down for today. Yes. Callum, stay where you are. Where is Callum, he? where did you go? Is he on where are boat? you? Come on, mommy. He went on the damn boat. All right. Can I get on? Right swan. Gave up on the lap. Sorry, sweetie.
Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl Gretel? named Gretel. Oh, okay. They were very poor and had very little to bite or suck. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Yeah, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking. Not a good plan, Mum. Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever uh, Hansel hi. leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their it's father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. I can't turn After on that. receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. No. She stuffed Hansel into a cage I'm and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, 
grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. I wonder if that's the actual, like, fairy tale. Because um, I know a lot of, like, modern day fairy tales have history in really dark stories. Like, they weren't. Ha ha ha! Hi. How are you? Swan's gingerbread and chocolate achievement. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, uh, in the Hansel and Gretel story that you know was typical in the books I had as a kid, they didn't eat the witch. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Another accident. This place. Hi. Uh, there's a bear. Is that the bear we're looking for? constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm truly not worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the band writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon, I will know if this has been all for nothing. Okay, um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Stay where you are! <laughs>
This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Eyewitness report. Atlantic Island Park incident. Officer on duty, Sheriff F. Bannerman. Witness name, Norma Creed. Statement. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or lion, but as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face, smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little, fit, little bit faster. Like you were prey, and that thing in the ice was a hunter. I'm dying. Hold on. Oh, get up. I actually get... Ah, ba ba But then... Three teenagers walked up, and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy, who had one of the teenagers on the ground, and he was stabbed, stabbed, stabbing with the ice pick. And blood was spraying, and people were screaming. And Frank and I had the kids, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Creepy. So yeah, that was episode one of the park. I'm doing these in kind of like 20 to 30 minute episodes. It's not a long game, there's only going to be four episodes of it, so pretty short one. Uh, I just didn't want to like bombard people with hour long gaming uh, streams, or not streams, but premieres, stuff like that. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll stick around next week, uh, so we can see what happens with Callum. And I forgot the main character's name. Hmm. Hmm. Lorraine. That's, that's it. So we have a uh, single mother, Lorraine, who's looking for Callum at a party that has been closed for a very long time. So that's interesting. Tune in next week. Thank you for being here. And remember, life can be shit, so let's get through it together. Keep being with our hashtag. Bye! Alright, we're going to try this for like the fourth time now <laughs> and get my shit together and put it all in a bag, put it all in a box, um, but anywho, um, lots of issues today, like I didn't have the microphone set up for an audio source, so <laughs> the first time um, I tried to record this intro there was no audio, and then the second time after I added it, for some reason it still didn't work. So, third time is, now fourth is the charm, because there are three recordings in that folder right now. Anywho. Okay, hopefully this one goes well too. Number two, do, do, do. No, no, that wasn't, that wasn't it. Gotta redo the drink. You have to focus.
That's a good one. <laughs> we need a transcend break. That was fun. Really exciting. Cloyingly sweet because it's just pure sugar, pure glucose. fell on that in case we need it. Anywho, tune in next week uh, for another episode of hashtag gaming. Nude. Nude. <laughs> no. No, we're not doing nudes. Let's <laughs> Noob for life. <laughs> Oh, this is going well, and I'm only on the outro for episode one. I still have um, three more intros and three more outros to record, so yeah. There's going to be plenty of bloopers. Anywho. Hey, did you remember to mention uh, Raid Shadow Legends? Oh, yeah. Or uh, Honkai Impact 3rd? That one I haven't heard of. Or, <laughs> uh, that's a mostly anime uh, YouTuber, because it's like an anime game oh. thing. I'm sure I could get a list of other, uh, of the, like, uh... The, you know the... what I've seen now, though? It's all the, um, VPNs. Like, Express VPN and... Nord, Nord VPN! Nord. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of any of the other ones. That's really the only one that I'm, really like, super, like, I've seen a lot. There's other ones. IP Vanish is cool, but they don't really, like... Sponsor YouTube videos? Yeah... I don't tend to trust anybody who puts a lot of money into advertising mm -hmm. like that because they obviously put just ungodly amounts of money into advertising. True. Raid Shadow Legends! <laughs>